Facebook and the internet and all these online tools, they're just tools. And it's, you know, it really depends on how people use them. And, you know, if people started using them for political activism and to, uh, you know, to call for change and to actually make change happen, then that's a great use of these tools. But in the end, it's about the people. I think social networking websites um, have had a very uh, instrumental role in uh, acceler accelerating social changes um, in, in, in different societies. But uh, uh, we cannot initiate um, a revolution or um, so social change uh, in any societies uh, by just having these tools. So we have to have like a vibrant civil society. We, we have to have a kind, of, um, 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 a, a kind of environment that is ready for, 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 for change. In the West, we, we just got familiar with the online activism in, in Egypt only a couple months ago, four months ago. Uh, the online activism there is actually had started long, long time ago. It didn't happen overnight. It took five or six years for the community to form and, and get to know each other and actually make things happen. But in the end, technology and social media was a great facility. The social media is playing a very important role because the, the Syrian regime or the, the government are not allowing any news network channel to go there and report on the streets. They're very, you know, it's a dictatorship regime and they don't want anybody to see the truth. I think one of the good things about the internet and one of the good things that, about the uh, Iranian society, what happened after the election in 2009, was that the internet um, helped the people to challenge the dominant narrative of the government. Once people are on the street, people no longer need to, 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 to connect with using Facebook anymore. People are were there, and that's just great. And then the international audience also knew they were there. And in fact, I think by shutting down the internet, they created more, they ignited more resistance. You know, there have been a lot of arguments and debates over what role social media played in this, in, the, in these uprisings. And, uh, you know, some people like Malcolm Gladwell, for example, in The New Yorker argued that this would have happened anyway, that, you know, Facebook or Twitter or any of the social media tools has nothing to do with it. But I, I, I think that, you know, the, the social media played an important role for all of this to happen because it allowed people to communicate and organize and, and, and spread the message. So now with the internet, we know every minute what's going on on the streets. Like we can very quick and we can, you know, within a few seconds spread that video, you know, to, to a very broad, you know, audience all over the world. So it's very, very important. Yeah, it is really important. And yeah, thanks God for the internet. <laughs>